Hey there, I'm Tiffany with PG Designs. This month we're designing a Christmas goose and procreate. You can totally make this one your own. I'm gonna walk you through how I made this cute little design, but the clip art pack comes with everything you need to customize your own silly goose. You can follow along with my version or you can mix it up and create something totally different. A seamless pattern, a digital file for your shop, just have fun with this one. If you're new around here, welcome. I've recently started doing a lesson like this every month to help you get creative using Procreate. And if you're loving it and you wanna learn more, be sure to check out my Procreate Essentials course. It's gonna cover everything from creating designs using clip art to making seamless patterns and even some beginner POD stuff. Also, be sure to subscribe so that you can keep up with when we add new lessons. And if you want more cute clip art to use, be sure to check out the Peachy Clip Art Club. I'm gonna link everything below, so just check in the description below the video. Also, I thought it would be fun to turn this into a little challenge. So from October 6th through the 13th of 2025, be sure to share the designs you create in our Facebook group. Again, I'm gonna link everything below, but here's how this challenge is gonna work. You just need to use the goose from the clip art pack that was with this lesson and then you can create your own little goosey design. You can create a pattern, just have fun with this. You can mix and match with clip art from this set or any other clip art or draw your own to go with it. Then you're gonna post your design in our Facebook group. Be sure to use hashtag goose challenge so we can see all of the, the designs that you guys post. And then I'm gonna pick one person at random and they're gonna win a $25 Amazon gift card. Okay, so the winner is going to be announced October 14th. If you're watching this later than that, no worries at all. Please still share your goose design inside of our Facebook group. Check out the other ones. It's so inspirational and it's so much fun to see how you guys can take one single element and use it in so many different ways. And then be sure to join us next month for the next challenge and our next lesson. All right, let's get started making our cute little Christmas goose design here. And if you have not already, go ahead and download the clip art pack for the, the goose. Save it somewhere that you can easily access this clip art and that you know where it is. There will be a link below the video to get the clip art if you have not already downloaded that. So then we are going to pop into Procreate and we're going to tap this plus button up here in your top right corner. And I do already have this canvas set up. It's one I use a lot, but if you don't already have a 12 by 12, you can hit this plus button in the corner. And we're gonna switch to inches because that's what I like to work in. And I'm gonna say 12 by 12. You do wanna make sure this is set to 300 DPI. You can, you do not have to make this a 12 by 12. This could be a 12 by 14. It kind of depends on what you're gonna be using it for and what you, your personal preference, but 12 by 12 is just a standard go-to go size that I like to create in. So 12 inches by 12 inches, 300 DPI, then tap the create button. Now you're gonna have your blank canvas. And then I'm going to drag up the menu here you would have already needed to have opened your files so that it was on your menu along the but the bottom here. But once you have that, you've opened it prior to trying to do this little trick here in Procreate, then it'll be on your menu. So then I'm gonna tap the file folder and I'm gonna drag it to the side and then I'll let go. This is gonna make it real easy to pull in the clip art that you wanna use to create your, your little goose image here. So I'm gonna, just kind of take it here in the middle. You can kind of see a bar. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just gonna slide it over so that I, I can see my canvas a little bit more and have my different clip art. You'll, if you don't, if you're probably not gonna pull it up right here. So you're just gonna need to navigate to wherever you've saved the clip art for this. And then I'm going to start by tapping the goose. And I'm gonna drag her over. And then the next thing I'm going to drag over, I want to use the bow. Oh, before you do that, you have to have it so she's not selected. Okay, so now I want the bow. 
and perfect. That is cute just like that. And then modify and I have to click that arrow to, I don't know if you guys saw what I did, but I just hit modify and then I click the arrow there and that'll get it so it's not selected. And for this one, I want the lights. Okay, so the fun thing is though with this, I gave you some extra pieces. You can find clip art elsewhere. You can actually build this out however you want. We're just going to walk through setting it up like this because I think it's super cute, but have fun with this and make your little goose and even the saying that we're going to put with it you guys make this whatever you want this is just what i think is cute so we're going to turn this off so i'm going to click the three dots at the top hit close and then this is where it gets fun so up at the top right here we have our layers we have the lights the bow and our goose and we are going to take the let's see we're going to take and i'm going to tap this first one then I'm going to swipe this next one and swipe the goose and I'm going to make them all just a tiny bit smaller and I'm going to move them over just a little bit and then I'm going to grab the bow and I'm going to move the bow up to the top of her head and I'm going to take the lights and I'm going to move those down a little so they look like they are wrapped around her body. Perfect. And then I'm going to select all three again. And I'm going to move it over just a little bit more so we have room to put our saying. And at this time, I'm going to go ahead and tap this little blue thing. And I am going to make it just a tiny bit bigger. I made it a little smaller than what I wanted to. Move it over. You just don't want to move it off the edges of your canvas or it will clip the clip art. Okay, we're going to come up to the top and well actually no, we're going to go over to the wrench menu and we're going to click where it says add and then we are going to add text. I'm going to move it down so I can mess with it. It is green at the moment. I want it black and then we'll just click on this layer that says text and hit edit text and then I'm going to double click it. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to tap on my show keyboard and we're going to say Merry Christmas. And again, you guys, this is, you can make this however you want to. This is just what I'm doing because I thought it was cute. Select it again. And if you don't know, I love Lavender Dreams by Alicia, Alicia Ray. So I'm going to say Merry Christmas. I do want to uh, tap off and then you can, once you, once you've got it deselected, you can tap it again. And I'm just going to go ahead and move Christmas underneath. Okay. And then I'm going to move that. I'm going to go ahead just to make it a little easy on myself. I'm going to duplicate this text layer. Let me show you how I did that again. So swipe to the left, duplicate, and then take the arrow. I'm going to move this one down and then tap off of it and double click. I want all of it selected. And then I'm going to say, yeah, silly. I want that capitalized. Silly space. I'm actually going to hit return because I know I want that to go underneath goose. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to select both of these at the same time because I want to size them up so that they're sizing the same. Okay. So in order to do that, I tapped you silly and then I swiped to the little, let's see, right. Y'all I'm dyslexic. So bear with me. Swipe to the right. And then I'm going to just use this little blue mark down here, make it a little bigger, make it a little bigger. Again, I don't want, I want to make sure it doesn't drag off of the canvas. And I'm going to select just the Mary part here because I just want to move this one now. I'm going to move it to where I like it. And then same thing with the You Silly Goose. I'm going to select that portion of the text, click my arrow, and I'm going to move it here. 
I did notice that a couple of things. So I want, I want the space between this to be a little closer together. So there's a couple ways to do that, but I'm just going to go in, tap that layer, hit edit text, and then I'm going to tap this, um, the A's to, to get to this menu here. And then we're going to address, uh, adjust the letting. And that's going to pull. So if you can see here, see this goose up on the thing, we're pulling it up because I want it a little closer. Okay. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the Merry Christmas. Tap that layer, hit edit. Down here, I'm going to tap the A. So I pull this menu up and I'm going to adjust the letting again, pull it up a little bit. Where I like it. Perfect. Please don't bark. Please don't bark. Don't do it. They get so loud when they're barking. Okay. All right. That is looking cute. Going to move the Yasili Goose down just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to use the lights, a part of the light, and I just want to kind of have it as a little thing here in the middle. So I'm going to take this lights layer, select it, swipe to the left, say duplicate, and then I'm going to tap my arrow and I'm going to just move it. So it has more than I want. I just want this bottom piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to Click and hold this check mark right here so that we just have this one layer visible. We're gonna take our selection tool and we're gonna use where it says freehand down here. And then you're just gonna kind of circle around so that you select just the section of lights that you wanna use. So I wanna use this bottom section. So with three fingers, I'm gonna swipe down I'm going to say cut and paste. And now when we look at our menu, you can see you have this one that's just that bottom line and it's separated now from these two. So we're going to tap the one that has the two because I don't want those anymore. I'm going to swipe to the left. I know it should be so easy. <laughs> I'm going to hit delete. And now I'm just left with this one. It did turn back on all the layers, which is fine. I'm going to move this one up. I'm going to use this little green lot bar here and I'm going to rotate it just a little bit and make it just a little smaller. This is just personal preference, however you like this. I think that looks pretty cute. Also kind of looking, I think I kind of want these to be just a tiny bit larger. down a little maybe move the Mary down just a little not too much see this is just where you start getting a little nitpicky I actually like that right there oops okay now that is it, it was so easy so you can build this out however you want you can whatever text you want make your goose look however you want um, have fun with it and be sure to post in the group. Okay, so now I'm looking and right here you can see this is off. So I have to fix this. So I select the layer with the lights and I'm just going to move it over just a little bit and up. There we go. Yeah, much better. Okay, see, I just didn't catch it before. Oh, and that. Now the goose is, there we go, okay. All right, okay, I'm gonna stop, stop picking, oh gosh. And I wanna show you how to export it. So if you wanna export this so that you can have it printed on a shirt or a mug, whatever you wanna put it on, the first thing you need to do is turn off that background layer because unless for some reason you want that to print and once you turn that off, you'll click your wrench tool and then you're going to say share and we're going to export this as a PNG file. The PNG file is going to keep that back part transparent 
navigate to where you want to save it to. Okay, sorry. You're going to navigate you, you, this. I'm acting like this is the first time I've ever done any of this. For some reason, when you're starting to try to show other people, you you forget. But this is where you can rename it. So rename this right here. You click rename and then call it whatever. Christmas Goose. Click done, and then you'll just navigate to whatever folder that you want to save it to so that you can easily get that and use this PNG file however you want. And then you would tap upload, and that's it. I'm not going to save it because I already have it saved, but that is how you would do that. Turn that back on so you can see it good. Every time I hit that, that's what happens. So click the arrow. But anyway, that is it. I hope you guys have fun with this and be sure to say or share whatever you create in the Facebook group. I cannot wait to see all the different ways you guys come up with, you know, making cute goose Christmas goose or goose designs. This was a lot of fun and thank you guys for being here. I hope this lesson gave you a little creative boost and maybe even a little laugh. Designing does not have to be fancy or hard. Sometimes it just starts with a silly idea in just a few minutes in Procreate. If you're ready to learn more, be sure to check out my Procreate Essentials course. It's packed with beginner-friendly lessons to help you turn your ideas into actual products, even if you can't draw. And if you want more hand-drawn clip art, be sure to check out the PG Clip Art Club. There's tons of design inspo in there. And don't forget, I'll be dropping a brand new lesson the first Monday of every month. So be sure to check back and let me know what you think. I cannot wait to see your cute goose design inside the Facebook group.